Good afternoon, I'm Jared Smith with today's MyNBCNews.com daily webcast. Here's what's topping your headlines on Thursday. We begin in Flint where a teenager is in serious condition after being shot in the abdomen. It happened on the corner of Roseland and Maplewood just after midnight on Thursday morning. Police tell NBC 25 a group of teenagers were hanging outside on the corner of Roseland and Maplewood in Flint around 1230 AM when a 14 year old girl was shot. The teen was taken to Hurley Medical Center and at last check was listed in serious condition. Authorities urge anyone with information to contact the Flint Police Department. Stay with MyNBCNews.com throughout the day for updates on this developing story. And in Saginaw today, the community will gather to remember a little girl who was killed last week. Six-year-old Layla Jones was killed by gunfire. Her father, Sharon Jones, was also injured. Visitation for Layla was at the Coleman Temple World Outreach Campus earlier this morning at 9 a.m. The funeral was scheduled for 11. Meanwhile, Saginaw police are still searching for a man wanted in the death shooting of Layla. Police are looking for 23-year-old Michael Lawrence charged with premeditated murder. Three other men have already faced a judge on murder charges. A funeral is planned for Monday at Corona High School for a 20 year old graduate killed while serving in Afghanistan. The body of Army PFC Shane Cantu is scheduled to arrive here in mid Michigan today at noon on the property of Bishop Airport. Visitation will be from 2 to 8 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday at Nelson House Funeral Home in Owasso. The service is 5 p.m. Monday at Corona's Nick Anise Field. Cantu died August 28th after insurgents threw an explosive over a base wall. And for more on the top stories of the day, you can log on day or night. It's our homepage, mynbcnews.com. And don't forget, tonight at 6 p.m., catch NBC 25 News for all the latest news, weather, and sports. One of the stories that we're following today is continuing coverage of the 2012 Democratic National Convention. Tune in tonight at 6 p.m. for a live report from Charlotte. That's it for today's webcast. Thanks for logging on. We'll see you tomorrow.